morning from my bed. Um, there are rules when owning a kitty. Kitty rules. Every animal. I, I call him a kitty. I, you know, they're an adult. It's a cat. But I'm going to call her a kitty. She is a kitty until forever. Okay? Kitty is kitty. Puppies are puppies forever. They're big puppies. You got little baby puppies. And then you got big puppies. I digress. Kitty rules. Kitty rule number one. They find a location when they sit or if they're, they're laying down or comfortable, whatever, you don't move. They find a place, you stay in that place. Even if it's between your legs. Oh, so sorry. Do not disturb. Look at my raggedy muffin. My raggedy muffin. Oh my goodness, she's so adorbs. Yeah, so I'm stuck here. Russ is downstairs. Um, unless you really gotta like pee or do emergency something, do not disturb. So, I mean, sausage biscuits for the win. Russ has brought them to me because, well, he didn't know I was stuck, but he was going to bring me breakfast and bread and, and bread in bed anyway. Thank you. I think there's a squirrel in our window, so like where the AC unit is. It left already. I saw a shadow. I saw a shadow like right here. Oh, you hear that? The birds. Hi, birds. A bird on the window. Are you having fun on my AC? Yeah. That's where I think it was. The squirrel just hanging out. Which means if I had like peanuts or something. I could put a bird feeder right there. The birds. The birds. All right, you know what? Let's get dressed. All right, so I'm not really dressed dressed. I've got sweatpants and a t-shirt on. And I'm going to wear my slippers because that's, I'm not going out till late, till later. Probably not till like, I don't know, 9. That's right, 9 p.m. You know how like when you reach a certain age, you're like, I want to be in bed by nine. Well, I'm 42, which is kind of that age. A lot of people are like, oh my God, I'm definitely in bed by nine, 42, whatever. But not really. Um, no, I still like to get out. Um, not all the time though, but a lot of time, you know, I get out and just like be out. I'm not an introvert. Russ is definitely not an introvert. And uh, he has to get out. That's how he feels. He has to. Otherwise, he's wasted the day or whatever. He still hasn't put his freaking stuff away. Put his freaking stuff away. So yesterday, I finished watching Chamber of Secrets. That's the second one. I watched um, Sorcerer's Stone the day before. Uh, two or two days before yesterday, I watched Source uh, Chamber of Secrets. I'm talking about Harry Potter now. If you don't know, Chamber of Secrets it smells like fart out here. No doubt that Russ um, took a shit and he doesn't use air freshener. I'm just like, just freaking use the air freshener. Nobody but him likes it to smell like shit. He doesn't see like. There's like no problem with it. There's a problem with it. I don't want my house to smell like this. This was like coffee, but also like burnt corn chips or something. What do I feed this man? What did we eat yesterday? Chinese food. But you know, it's still, I don't, what is this? 
Let's see. It says Radio Shack on it. If you know anything about Radio Shack, okay, it's like, a, I'm not really sure what you want to call it. Anyway, Radio Shack doesn't exist anymore. Okay, well, he's watching wrestling in his room, smoking a cigar probably, and having coffee. I want to be out here. I watch something. Um, Sunday, which is tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see the new Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice movie. They only say it twice. We say it three times. Actually, summon the Beetlejuice. And we don't want to do that, right? We do not want to summon the Beetlejuice. So you only say it twice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And it's the second one. So it's like, instead of saying Beetlejuice 2, you say Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Because two Beetlejuices. So it's like two things. You don't say Beetlejuice three times. And also it's the second Beetlejuice. If you don't know what Beetlejuice movie is, I'm sorry. You should watch it. It's fun. All right, so we have in the crock pot that meat that I had put in the fridge a few days ago. Forgot about it. And Russ says, are you going to cook this? I said, yeah, it's probably not even all the way defrosted. It is. But what am I doing with it? I'm just in the crock pot. It's going to uh, marinate, I guess. And we're going to make a really simple um, barbecue sauce. Like the simplest, not traditional at all kind of barbecue sauce. Basically, um, that's not what I want. I need a big bowl. Hold on. All right. So just like in a mixing bowl, I don't carry my quad pod tripod thing around, which is why I'm just like struggling all the time to. Find a good angle, but you know, whatever. Hello. Yeah. Eh, Wizard of Oz is on in the background, just so you know what the screaming is. Alright, so here's what I'm doing just a small mixing bowl, fork, or whisk, whatever. Ketchup, brown sugar will give you the base of your sauce. Put in like two cups of ketchup to start. I mean, yep, we'll just put the rest of this in. Let's do that. Just put the rest of whatever was in your ketchup bottle. everything down that's good that's good you know all right and then come on all right brown sugar so like half the amount whatever ketchup you put in there do like half the brown it depends on how sweet you like your brown sugar if you don't like it that sweet don't put in that much so I'm gonna put in uh, that looks about right. Whatever that is, put that amount in there. Okay, and you take your fork and you mix her it up. Okay, you can do this in a mixing bowl or a, you know, electric mixer or whatever. I'm just going to use a fork. And, you know, just mix that up until it's all combined. Alright, so now how you season it is, so here, if you're just making the sauce without like putting it in something, so when I'm done making the sauce, I'm going to put it in my crock pot that's over there in, with the meat, and we're going to cook it that way. So if you want, you can put this on like an actual cook stove top, put your ketchup in your, your brown sugar, you get it all dissolved and all cooked in there. Then you're going to add your spices of choice. Depends on how you want your flavor. So I'm going to go with some Lowry Season Salt. I think that's enough. And I am not measuring anything because I don't want to. 
I have some McCormick's Grillmate Smokehouse Maple. I think that'll be a good flavor. So we're gonna put in like that much. That looks good. And I've got some uh, garlic powder. We'll put in. We'll put in that much. Looks good. And I'll do the same with the onion powder. Garlic powder, onion powder. Then if you think it's too, whoops, I'll just wash that off. If you think it's too sweet, put in like, uh, not, yeah, some vinegar and stuff. Okay, hold please. All right, so my barbecue sauce is not quite barbecue until it's cooked. So I put it in with the meat. Right here, just dumped it. Dumped it all on top like that. Okay. And I'm covering this. It's on high for now. Um, I'm keeping it on high. It's 350-ish, right? It's 350 right now. So we leave, we're gonna leave the house probably about nine. I'm gonna turn it on low uh, in around seven. And then I'll turn it, yeah, I'll just turn it on low around seven. And then by the time that we get back home, it'll be done. I can turn it off. Um, I wish we had buns because the reason I'm doing that is so that we would have barbecue sandwiches. But we don't have any buns or bread for that matter. So, um, you know, I'll just like save it for when we go to the grocery store. We have got to go to the grocery Look, I did the grocery shopping, online grocery shopping, and that's fine. It was fine. But I like to see what I'm buying. I gotta clean or something on this, on this cabinet. This, whatever the hell. Cupboard? Cabinet. Countertop. Thank you. That's the word I'm looking for. Countertop. It's a ring. The ring of fire? No. Oh, so you know in in um The Wizard of Oz when you see the people marching and they're like oh we owe the, what they're saying is all we owe we owe her. It's just very low, so it sounds like oh we owe so it's like all we owe we owe her. That's you know if you were to pronunciate pronunciate enunciate all the thingies syllables dialect whatever you know what I'm saying they were so happy to be out of that witch's spell I'm assuming that's what was happening is serve me or you die I don't know I don't know but wicked the movie wicked is gonna come out relatively soon here I'm not really sure the date but when that comes out I'm excited for it I think it's next year Okay, so anyways, it's almost done, and I am thirsty, so, um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Later. Kitty took my spot. She looks so tiny with all, all her fur. She looked tiny in the body and big in the head. Alright. Okay, so here's the thing about Dorothy and the, the Galinda she comes down in her fancy bubble or whatever she's like oh you've had the ability to go home this whole time she says what dorothy says what she's like oh i couldn't have, and then then glinda's like i could have i couldn't have told you you wouldn't have believed me bitch she came down in a big old bubble i'm pretty sure dorothy would have believed anything you said anyway fever dreams and all that Okay, so Russ went outside to change the light bulb in the uh, the Corolla. The passenger side Corolla needs a light bulb change. It happens. Light bulbs turned out. Well, it should be super simple. Well, apparently Walmart had the wrong size. When you, like, you know, you use the machine to tell you which size light bulb or the right light bulb to use. Uh, wasn't the right one. So I see her. Yep. 
I hear him yelling outside. I'm inside. He's swearing. This is what he does when he can't get something to work right or be easy. He swears about it. Now, I just he went probably to, I don't know, Ace Hardware or some correct place, not Walmart, to get um, the right light bulb. Or he went somewhere. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure he went. He said he was going somewhere, so he left. Like, okay, cool. I don't even know. I don't even know where he went. So I'm deciding that I need to shower because I just realized I haven't showered in more than a week. Ew, right? Okay. You know what? Sometimes people just don't shower for a while. Uh, gee, 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 gee. Any case, I need to shower. I gotta detangle. So, um, let's go do that. All right, I'm done with my shower. Now, I have had, I have been out of conditioner, like the regular conditioner that I use for the past uh, month. Why? Because, well, I asked Russ to buy me conditioner and I sent him a picture and the conditioner bottle and the shampoo bottle look very, very similar. So unless you read the bottle, you're gonna pick up the wrong one. Well, naturally picked up the shampoo. So I've got plenty of shampoo, but I don't have any conditioner. So now I have two types of conditioner or go through two types of conditioner. One of these bottles is a smaller bottle, but it's like tea tree oil conditioner. And, um, I don't know what the benefits are for hair, tea tree oil in hair, but I know that for your skin, it's quite beneficial. It's an anti septic or something like that. Anti something. Um, anyways, I got to pick at my toes. All right. So check it out. My feet have a good shape. However, my big toes do not grow straight. My toenails, I should say. My big toenails don't grow straight. They grow inward. Like if this, my thumb, it grows into sort of ingrown toenails on both feet. So I have to try to like trim them or cut them in a certain way where they don't start digging into my side of my toe because then it makes me walk all wonky and it hurts. My right foot toenail has been giving me some problems again. This happened six months ago, something like that. I think it was six months ago because it takes that while, that while, that long for toes to grow. I had to cut them way down way down and then my right my left foot just like broke it's got a blood blister or scab or something underneath it right now so it's like black and gross looking it's not like a lot but they don't they don't grow right so i'm going to show you so if you don't like feet or toes that don't look correct then don't look don't look at them this is your warning here, see, I have a normal shaped foot. It's normal shaped. My toes, I have what they call Morton's toe. Morton, the middle toe is longer than the big toe. So as you can see, I put some Neosporin on it. That's why it's all shiny and weird looking like that. I dug it out on this side, on the inside portion of the toe. I dug it out and some pus did come out. It actually is feeling quite nice right now and a little bit it was bleeding just a moment ago as you can see my toenail doesn't grow correct and you can see it's like thick but that isn't toenail thickness that's skin thickness it's like i have a callus under my toenail that just won't go away or go down so when i shower the callus is very soft and malleable so i take the time to like scrape the cuticle portion and try to scrape around the toenail so it doesn't grow into the foot the toenail now I need to see a podiatrist so I can get these toenails removed they're gonna have to be removed now that's the right foot this is the left foot here it is now same thing Morton's toe the 
second toe is bigger. I do need to clip my toenails. It's fine. See what I mean? Now this one broke broke. You can tell. You can see where it broke broke. And it's like non-existent basically. And that's the part where it got blood blister underneath or scabbed over or something. And so it looks like this. So like I said, I have normal looking shape-wise feet. They're normal feet shape-wise. But the toes, toenail, is not normal. So that's me being vulnerable. Uh, my toenails, my toes, I hate walking around barefoot because I don't want people to look at my toes. Because there are those people who will say stuff. And it's like, just don't, just mind your business. Yes, my toenails are funky looking. No, I can't fix it right this very second. And I'm not, if my toes are like out, it's because my feet are hot. And I don't have hot feet very often. So if I'm wearing flip flops or sandals, mind your business. That's what my toenails look like. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but you know, I'm sorry that you were bothered by it? Question mark? Look, I can't, I don't know what to tell you, man. I live in the United States, so I can't, I don't have the means, the means to go get them fixed. My insurance, you know, in health insurance, so on and so forth. All right. All that aside, let's get dressed. I want to wear this bra because it's funky and I like it. I need to order a purple one. I think I just did. Oh, speaking of bras, I ha it's on the way. My bras are on the way. I've ordered, I think I ordered three new bras from HSI at Hesia. What did you just call it that? Hesia. And I want to wear that. And I want to wear the new, this one. It's inside out. But that's okay. The lace to the finish shirt. It's a shirt. And then I'm going to wear my thigh high boots. Where are they? They're down here. Let me grab them. This is not a thigh. Let me find my stuff. All right. So the, we're not leaving for a few hours. So it's not like we have to, well, Alexa, what time is it? 720. Yeah, we were not going to leave for like a, maybe an hour and a half, something like that. Anyways, hi, Miss Purdy. All right, just getting my shit together. All right, and then I have my fake pants. Now, these have a hole in the crotch, so let's, let's fix those. All right. If you know anything about the Crucible, you know that it's not for vanilla people let's say so you know you dress a little scantily clad you go out you party 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 dance 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 or you don't I mean there are places to sit and talk but it's really loud so I'm not really sure how people can talk but here's the fit and I'll just bring it over to my uh, mirror roar, roar oh hello there's my outfit. I have a little bit of camel toe going on right now, but that's okay. So here's the boots is what I was, my knee highs. I got knee highs. Why does it do that? That's weird. Once I get like beyond a certain, if you zoom me in, it changes color. Anyway, these are my boots here. I got knee high boots with what look like leather pants or spandex. They're basically spandex. They're not leather pants at all. I know, my mirror is so dirty. Still, you can see. And then I have this shirt, which is kind of short. I prefer a longer shirt, but this is what I am wearing. This one with my, uh, this bra. Because I like the bra. It's a nice shirt. And then I'll put on a, a jacket. Like a... 
not really sure what kind of jacket some kind of jacket I'll put it over that but there you go here's my outfit for the evening boots and this shirt and pants I think I look pretty good and I use a hair dryer on my hair it's not dry obviously but it's mostly dry so it won't be like sopping wet but I think my hair might stay uh, down like not fuzzy not frizzy as you can hear Russ has the music on he's just like music all the that's how he dances it does this a lot fist bumping no it's a flat hand but not to the rhythm anyways it doesn't matter I'm thirsty I'm a little hungry always eat before you go out you don't have to eat a lot but something so I'm gonna go munch on something This is where we're going. Uh, you know, whatever. Oh, sorry, I don't have my seatbelt on. It. <coughs> a car beeped at me. But we're going there, and then, then I don't know. It's one o'clock in the morning right now. Um, yeah. So we'll see you after that. Okay, bye. <sighs> All right, everybody. Now it's Sunday. Three oh eight. In the morning, 3.10 probably by now, I don't know. Hi, kitty. It's time for, whoa, out. Time for bed. Look, we've been dancing the night away. Then we went to that after party, after bar. And it was just a lot of fun. So, um, tomorrow we, still, we see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And it's also Sunday, so... Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat> or see you Monday. Toodles.